Hello, welcome to another QA Automan tutorial. And in this lesson, we're going to show how you should name your test methods. Now, historically, I have been doing this not to the kind of standard that exists in the in the kind of industry for tests. Uh, and I think it'd be good to start kind of doing that. And I kind of want to show you guys really quick um, how you can start writing your tests um, with better test names. Um, so, you know, really quick, let's just kind of dive into what, what we have here uh, just in front of us. But if you notice, it says test name generator. Now, what does that mean? You have no context, no idea what this test does. If someone's like, hey, you know, <laughs> uh, really quick, if you just gave names of all your tests, could someone look at that and say, I know exactly what this is testing? No. So one of the things they like you like to do is you divide this into um, kind of break broken up into you say test and then you kind of have your state um, and then you have your actions and then you have your you know expected expected result like this is kind of a good way to kind of have uh, you know and, and you do have the underscores that is that is totally something that exists having test you may you don't you don't may not need you can probably do without, but it's always good to have that extra, hey, this is a test, just in case someone tries to reference it or something. And, and let's give you an example here. So we have test name, name generator, but what is this actually doing, right? We're going to this page. We are clicking, oh, what is this? It is telling us that this could be null. Ah, because of this. Um, hmm, we'll get back to that in a second. But uh, what is it doing? It's clicking the navigator link, it's getting the names, it selects female, human, clicks the generate button, and verifies the names, let's see, it takes the names list again, names after, so you take them before, on load, you take them after, and then you cert false that the names, um, actually, let's, let's, let's read, yeah, any, anything that matches uh, the on load, Make sure that none of the new generated names um, are contained within the names load. So essentially, we have anything that first loaded, and we make a change. Nothing should equal, right? So that is what what the end result is. However, I'm going to kind of remove this instead of any match. I'm just going to put any, and then I'm going to put in. Um, name oh wait we're hold on we're in java haha <laughs> started writing kotlin in java that would be weird um so let's actually so so that's what we do we go get names change and generate new names make sure those names none of those uh equal each other right they have to be different so so what we're going to do is our state um our state will be um you know going to the uh name generators page right um, so from the name, actually, we'll just we'll leave this here and we'll do it here. It's test underscore name generator page underscore, um, select female, female human, um, uh generated names do not match from load from page load now you're looking at this and you're like oh my gosh qa auto man why is this thing so long and that is okay it is okay for it to be super long there's there's you know the standard probably like maybe 50 characters or something but at the end of the day like this is uh you definitely, if I look at this, you now have a very clear understanding of what this test does. Um, you know, I, I think it's really important to start kind of doing this. And if you haven't done this, go back and start changing these and, and do the same, uh, the similar kind of changes, because this will make your code much more readable. You don't have to put a ton of comments. I mean, you can still put comments and say, you know, this test, da, 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 da. like you can still do that and that's fine. But this this is what you'll see in results. This is what you'll see when you run your stuff on Java or Jenkins and all that stuff. I, I definitely start looking this out. And, and if you don't take my word for it, 
there's a lot of articles out there that and there's a lot of stack overflow that will kind of explain all of this for you so um please you know feel free to um you know take a look at yourself uh and see what you think